Ugh, I gotta get that window fixed. Kinda sketchy. Would be pretty easy for someone to break in. I wouldn't want you getting raped, chum. Got a long day tomorrow. I start training again for my upcoming wrestling match. Sold out crowd for the return of Quail Kid. It's gonna be awesome. Not as awesome as someone who keeps their promises. What the fuck? There, there. Quiet now. Shh. It will all be better soon. Let me hold you. Put this one in with the others. The trial is almost set to begin. What the hell is going on here? Yo, Kingston! Lighthouse! Toast! The green bastards got you fellas too? It would not be wise to insult us, dum-dum. You gentlemen will stand trial for treason, arson, and sodomy. Um, excuse me? Well, those aren't quite the charges, but it just sounded better on paper. You boys have committed some serious offenses here. You broke your promise to return and trade with us. A big part of what makes our community so bumping is trade. This is not good. Not good at all. Liars! Fucking thieves! Burn. You fucking coward snakes in the grass! Burn in hell! Burn. Oh no! Are they throwing rotten cabbage at us? Burn, Burn in hell! Yo, you got it all wrong, bro. Seriously, this is a bit unnecessary. What is it that you wanted? Uh, we can get whatever supplies you guys need. Supplies? Oh. So now you give a sincere hoot about us peaceful Shire folk? When you guys were at the Renaissance Fair last week, I'm sure us green people were embedded on your thoughtless minds, your debts to our people on the forefront of your waking brains. You have no idea. Sleep? Not even sure what that is, since being so damn eager to return and trade with you amazing souls. Kingston? Seriously? Exactly! Like I have already previously stated, you gentlemen will soon see the severity of this situation. You can't just go around all willy-nilly like breaking promises and hearts along the way. Those days are over. Dude, they are pissed. I don't think lying to them right now is our best course of action. Well, what the fuck, man? I'm expected to be Johnny on the spot after being knocked unconscious and dragged into the woods, stuffed into a fucking wooden cage? This is unbelievable. I blame apples. That prick is the one who told us to go trade with these clowns. Now we fucked. Wait, Apples! No, hold on a second. We might not be as fucked as we think. I know Apples is pretty fucking stupid, but I'm sure he is going to notice us missing and put two and two together. And what would that solution be, man? That his buds were kidnapped and now held captive by the green people? Apparently awaiting a trial? Hmm, good point. <coughs> well, never mind. Well, if it isn't our much-anticipated hero himself, Lord Gala Honeycrisp. Hey, Apples. Holy shit, BDs. Is that you, boys? Wh where, where are we? I'm scared and cold. You can, um, take the bag off of your head. You aren't bound or restrained in any sort of way. Oh, man. Is my hair messed up? Oh, I'm gonna snap. Seriously, Apples? So you get snatched up in the middle of the night by the oh-so-peaceful green folk, too? I couldn't even tell you, man. I was gaming and snacking on some cheese and crackers. Appenzeller. Swiss. And next thing I know, I am in and out of it, boys. Now here. I kept hearing them say something about their people being really sick and dying. Oh, awesome! So if we do manage to escape, we will be set back into the free world as a petri dish with legs. Those fucking animals! This is some bullshit. I don't know, boys. We could be in some serious trouble here. Yeah, no shit, fuckhead. Appreciate your always insightful input. Wait, Apples, you overheard them saying their people are dying? Hey now, shut up in there. It's lights out. You will soon be meeting with the head elder. He will sort all this out. You guys might want to get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> get some rest. <laughs> hey, shut up.
Jeez, some fuck apples. You vile motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, boys. That one just sort of fell out of me. Must be all that cabbage or appenzeller I was enjoying last night. I ate almost the entire sleeve of cheese. You actually ate some of the cabbage? All right, you guys, enough chit-chat. Time for you to go meet with the head elder. This is beyond ridiculous. Ridiculous? You think our people dying by the dozens is a matter to be scoffed at? It is because of careless outsiders like yourselves and our willingness to help people. Why we are in this plague. Broken promises means broken hearts. That isn't what I was referencing at all. Like, all of this. Can't we just talk and work something out? To go to these lengths. Dummy! You still aren't grasping the severity of the situation, boys. Because of self-serving gnats like yourselves, our people's hearts are shattering like glass. We are losing all hope and little faith we had with the outside world, with your society. What do you mean? So how exactly are your people passing away? There has got to be a serious explanation for it. We knew you guys were liars, promising heartbreakers, but did not realize you guys were deaf too. Our Shire is facing a plague like never before seen. Our hearts are breaking. It starts with minor abdominal pain and nausea. Muscle cramps begin when the heart begins to show signs of fractures. Soon thereafter, once the heart shatters comes the severe nausea and heart juice pours from our rectums when we try to go poopy. It is a rather uncomfortable thing to witness, yet alone experience. I seriously can't even imagine. One time I got sick from eating spoiled salmon in Alaska. Was sick and had similar symptoms for sure. Apples. Shh. Seriously, man. Like I was saying, I bet we can find a rational explanation for all of this. Any other major symptoms we should know about? Yeah, so your people are shitting blood and then dying after suffering from a smorgasbord of other very uncomfortable symptoms? Watch your step, gentlemen. The path to the head elder's house got flooded recently. Don't want to get your feet wet now, do you? And yes, unfortunately, once the juice from the splintered heart starts to flow from our people, it is soon thereafter game over. Cool. So now got to trek through some shit water to get to our destination. Just to explain to this elder that this is all a crazed misunderstanding. Watch your tone. We are arriving now. It would be wise to show some respect. Damn. This place is pretty nice. Yes. The head elder needs a comfortable abode to help watch over all of our trade supplies. Elder! Elder! Head elder. The motley crew of promise breakers are here, awaiting status on their dire situation. Dire indeed. Uh, did you explain to these rude rascals that they are massacring our gentle shire folk with every promise that they break? Every broken promise means more broken hearts. We will no longer stand for it. Yes, Elder Stevens. However, these ones do not seem to realize or care that their hollow promises are beheading our Shire folk one broken heart at a time. Yes, very tragic. Heart juice flows freely and soon our Shire will be painted red. Wow. So, this heart juice. Bro, they are shitting blood. Dude, shh. Have you guys tried any medicines or holistic trade goods? Help curb some of these terrible symptoms? Ah, get these weirdos out of my hut. You are correct, David. The promise stompers just don't get it. They will continue to break the hearts of our mighty fine people as hot juice gives nourishment to the soil of our lands. I will take all things into consideration. They will stand trial as soon as I am ready. Until then, bring them back to their cozy accommodations. I am done staring into their Faces. Please, 
I think if we talk for just a few more minutes, we can come up with a solution here. I said leave at once. Don't go disrespecting the head elder, you spineless thief in the night. Get moving. Right back in you go. We will retrieve you guys shortly when the head elder is ready. Cool. Now what? Holy shit, guys, it's Colonel Earth. Colonel Earth, what are you doing here? Ha, assuming same as you guys. Didn't pay debts. I just got completely sidetracked. Why they take this sheet so serious? You're telling me, miss my brother's wedding the last time they took me in. The last time? Oh yeah, this is my twelfth time. Jesus. Well, guess all things considered then, their sentencing must be pretty lenient. Lenient? You guys pick your means of execution yet? Well, they at least afford us that. Wait, what? Execution? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about, Colonel? I would have been dead by recapture 3 if it wasn't for ballsy escape attempts every time. My ass would be long gone, let me tell you. Escape, I knew it. Let's go, BDs. Team up with the Colonel and let's blow this popsicle stand. We will return with proper trade goods next weekend or something. Ha! Huh, fuck that noise, boys. This sand blaster works alone. No offense or anything. Deal with your own debts. I'm up to my own damn eyeballs in debts. Ah, uh, come on, Colonel Earth. We don't even need to summon you. We can legit just piggyback off some of your sick-ass powers. Like laser beam the cage siding and fly us on home. I call shotgun. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, I was trying to be nice. You really are as dumb as you look. Guy, that was a show. A show that the blood-sucking vampire sharks masked as producers line their pockets with while I'm living couch to couch or in my car offering vicious blowjobs with loaded mouth for a microwavable meal or a pair of socks for people to be like, oh, sign my shirt or fat tits. Do that stunt for us, Colonel. Like I am some sort of stage monkey. Yeah, I'll dance and parade myself around, sign shit for you while my stomach is uninhabited by even table crumbs as I'm withdrawing from my latest drug binge? Hell of a life, boys. Damn. Seriously, if only you guys knew a third of the kinky and soul-sapping shit I've done just for my next fix. Like last night, I had this one guy straddled upside down from this makeshift chandelier. It's cool, man. Totally get it. W Wait a minute. Last night, the alley behind Pixies. Matchbox 20. Loogies is lube. Boys, I may have just found my ticket out of here. Yo, ticket? Yeah, man, what about us? What do you have planned? It's not what I have planned, but rather what I have stored. In my asshole. Had a minor running with the cops last night. Had to take my freshly purchased crack to the hoop. To the hoop? Yep, don't judge me. I'm sure you guys have had to keister some things back in your day from time to time. Keister? You have something that can possibly aid us in an escape concealed in your asshole? Our escape? My escape, yes. You guys do what you want after I tuck tail on out of here. You think I had some cool superhero powers on the show? Wait till you see me when I smoke some crack. Wait, you were saying that you... Oh, yep. There it is. He just pulled something from his butt. Looks like a whole setup to go, lighter and all. That thing is bigger than a Zippo. It even has keychains on it. What is it that you beaties like to say? Cheers, mate? Well, cheers. I fucking love me some crack. I like, don't even know what to say. Standing here while held captive as a childhood hero just pulled drugs from his butt and began to consume them. The fuck is going on? Yep, I fucking love crack. Holy shit! BDs, look out! Gonna rip a hole right through this cocksucker! Guys, the colonel is busting through the side! Hold on, colonel! Right behind you! Ha! Later, fellas! Don't let my smoke trail blind you and lead you astray now! Peace! Chicken grease! Wow, what a fucking prick. Fuck that guy. 
Kingston, let's go! BDs, make a break for it! Harry, move, move! Keep running, BDs! We gotta make it to that tree line ahead! Not so fast, boys! Oh, shit! We are surrounded! Fuck! They have traps everywhere, too! Fuck you, Colonel Earth! Fuck you straight to hell, you bipolar crackhead! Fucking sellout! Terrible, terrible mistake, BDs! We now play hardball! You little muskrats will now be put to death. To... to death? You brought this all upon yourselves for lying in breaking promises, killing our people, now trying to escape? The head elder has already requested that your last meals be prepped and served to you scumbags as soon as possible. Here is a pamphlet that we have created. Unlike you unruly outsiders, we are a peaceful folk. We are genuine, sincere. We will allow each of you to choose your preferred means of execution. I will leave you to browse. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Is this for real? Damn, you guys see the ice pick lobotomy? The rusty nail hydrochloric bath just sounds so <laughs> awful. Get all cut up while possibly drowning, too? I wonder if we can request a couple warm-up ones for apples. Guys, like, what the fuck? This has gotten completely insane. We are going to be put to death. Hey, at least they are nice enough to let us decide which method from a colorful pamphlet, right? May I suggest the burned at the stake method? It seems to be the quickest, least painful. Gee, thanks. We normally would have more than just water and bread for your last meal. However, our supplies are drastically low due to people lying and breaking promises by not returning to trade with us. We apologize for that. Moldy bread and water that... Is this even water? This is the same shit we had to trek through to meet the Elder. Fucking disgusting. Yeah, wait a minute. This is the drinking water for your people? Do you drink this water? I do not. I only drink goat's milk. My brother drinks the water, though. Oh, okay. Rain shower, was it? He seems fine. Oh, no. Not rain shower. Rain shower only drinks the goat's milk, too. Our brother William loved the water. William. Hmm. Don't think we had the pleasure of meeting him yet. William is dead. Oh, gotcha. So there's that. Wait, did your brother William pass away from the, um... He got very, very sick. Bad muscle cramps, then hot juice sprayed from him. For about a week, he was in so much pain. His heart was huge, so the pieces must have been big and sharp. Wait, none of this is adding up. Can I talk to the- Alright, Promise Smashers. It is time. I really need to talk to David, or the Elder. Please remain quiet. Let's make this as painless as possible. Before you stands the accused, the promise fragmenting materialistic heathens are set to be put to death. They have burst far too many promises, thus shattering the hearts of our people. We are sick. We are dying. And it is because of careless outsiders like them, the BDs. Well, I think it goes without saying, but I really love you guys. Can I please talk to the Elder? Please! You will be given a chance for last words, as pathetic as they may be. We are just that peaceful and serene and nice that we allow those sort of dignified things, unlike you guys. Have you chosen your means of execution from the brochure? Enough! Time for the murderers to face the same hand they dealt to us. I need a tall glass of water for this. Please bring me some refreshments to the podium. No! No! You say we get last words. Well, if you keep your word, then I'm going first. Do not drink that water, Head Elder. I implore you. Please, I think I know what is going on. 
I know you mighty fine caring souls don't exactly trust us at this particular moment in time, but please allow us to show you. We can help you. No more deaths from heart juice. La Cucaracha speaks lies. More and more lies. Hold on, Elder. With all due respect, I myself have lost children. The Murphys lost their young and most of their livestock. Fog of dissipation lost his mother early this morning. That woman was a fucking saint! Either way, if they lie, they will be put to death regardless. If this promised destroyer has any words of value that may help our ailing shire, then we should hear him out. Fair enough. Proceed. It's... it's the water. Just... Allow me to leave and come right back, like, an hour tops. Ha! <laughs> they plot yet another escape. I tire from this banter. I am serious. Not the fucking cabbage again. Boo! 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 As serious as heart juice. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Please, do tell. If you don't trust us, I will venture alone. Dude, the fuck? Don't worry, guys. I will venture alone, and if the promise of helping your Shire is not fulfilled, then all of us can be put to death instantly. Bro. Ha! David, what are you thinking of this? I think this promised collapser should be given this one last chance, only because it may help our people. We are in some rough shape to say the very least. However, he must be accompanied by a few of our own. Deal! Guys, seriously don't worry. I will be right back and we will be online gaming together before we know it. Shit, man. Hey there, housey! What can I do for ya today, my dear boy? Frank, I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please grab Dolores and get all of the bottles of your arctic pool water together at once. I promise I will be back later and explain and pay for everything. Hi, man. Kinda a weird request there, Lighthouse. But sure, sure, let me get all the stock from out back while you grab what's on display. Just remember, I trust your house. Things have been tight around here, so could really use the money. Make sure to never make a promise that you don't intend to keep. Oh, trust me, Frank. You have no idea. Hi. Hi, Dolores. The BDs are here. The BDs, the BDs here. If that promise bender doesn't return within the next few minutes, the handsome one dies first. Well, that sucks. Looks like I'm first at plate, Beaties. He most certainly meant toast. Guys, I have returned. Please, everyone, drink this. Everyone, drink up. But I be pop it up at the pop it down. When I be high, when I don't know, when I know. With the green, the green, the green people. Green, green, the green, the green people. With the green people, we are the green people, we are the green people community on the mend. Thought we were dead. Made us a new friend, our shy, you're almost dead. Hard working, practical, gentle souls, magical. We know the ins and outs, what makes the world go round. Not afraid of dirt and work, promises kept with hands that shook. We, the green people, we, the green people, we, the green people, sha ba da da ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 we the green people. The green people! 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 This water really is quite refreshing. 
I feel better already. Seriously, please stop drinking from the, um, natural waters found around here. Only drink purified or even just boiled water from now on if you are uncertain. I will make sure to order you guys the best of the best water purifiers as soon as I get home. Deliver it personally to the Shire ourselves. Holy shit, almost faced death today. I knew keeping a promise was a loyal characteristic to possess. At times, could be the difference between life and death, right? In an even more weird sense, if we kept our word, who knows? The green people may all be dead, so maybe it is better to break promises once in a while. Apples, if you ever say that again, I will make sure Mr. Hopper picks the most brutal execution from their pamphlet just for you. Maybe invent one called the Apples. Nah, I hear you. Seriously. Just keep your promises and make sure to drink plenty of water. Exactly. Well said, man. BDs, you seem to have learned the value of a promise. Please, we urge you to keep your word moving forward. We all enter and leave this world with nothing. I guess how we are peaceful folk, and you gentlemen who are shaky at keeping their word at best, are one in the same. Fog of Dissipation's mother would always say that since we enter and leave this world with nothing, why not at least leave with a kind word spoken on behalf of our name? Our legacy left, so to speak. She was a fucking saint! Great advice. Can genuinely thank you. The entire Shire, in a very unique way, made some kind friends today. <laughs> that damn cabbage. 